Now the child is gradually going from simple to complex. Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be presenting exercises in geometry tabulating cards. So let's get started. We will be learning three exercises in geometric cabinet. One, working with the circles. Two, learning the names of the geometric shapes. Three, grading exercise. We'll also learn how to work with the three sets of geometric cards and also understand the importance of the cards. The objectives of the geometric cabinet and cards are to indirectly prepare the child for writing through its repeated and removal of the insert. By so doing, the child's fingers, the thumb, index and middle are prepared for the correct muzzle grip. To introduce the child to geometric shapes and also to develop the child's ability to abstract ideas from the concrete materials. By using concrete materials, the child is able to learn the basic concepts of the different shapes so that as he progresses on, abstract concepts becomes clearer. The directress invites the child to work with her, takes the child to where the materials are kept and names the material. Now, take out one of the drawers from the cabinet. We'll be working with the circles. Remove and mix the shapes. Fill around each socket and shape, working from top to bottom. This is done to indirectly prepare the child for writing Western script. Now, how does the child know the insert is in the right socket? Well, there's a socket for each insert. The insert will not fit into the wrong socket. Once proficiency is achieved with the first drawer, the child can work with the second and continue to the next one. The second exercise is teaching the names of the geometric shapes. Teach the names of the shapes using the three period lesson. This is a memory activity. This exercise is done parallel to the presentation of the different drawers. The first period is naming the object the second period is associating the object with its name. The third lesson is challenging the child to name the object herself. Please check my videos on the three period lesson. The third exercise is grading. Grade from the largest to the smallest and vice versa. Now, we'll be working with cards of geometric cabinets. We have three sets of cards. Set 1. White cards with solid replicas of the geometric shapes in a dark blue color. Take out one drawer, the circles, and the corresponding cards. Lay them out and encourage the child to watch you. Ask the child to look for the right size of the insert to place over each card. Now, what if the child makes a mistake? How will he know? Well, the last insert will not fit exactly over the last card.
The purpose of working with the geometric cards is to refine the child's eye power of discrimination. The child is now gradually moving from concrete to abstract. In the first exercise of the geometric cabinet, the child was working with concrete materials, that is the shapes. But now the child is gradually going from simple to complex. By the time he's working with a third card, which has a thin outline, the child can now connect the concrete reality with an abstraction. Set two cards. These are white cards with thick dark blue outline. One card for each figure. Set two cards are used after the child has mastered set one cards. Follow the same procedure as the first set of cards. Introduce the set 3 cards after proficiency is achieved with set 2 cards. Please follow same procedure as the first set of cards. Set 3 cards have thin dark blue outline of the geometric shapes. The child is now moving from concrete materials to abstract, from simple to complex. So that's how we present exercises in geometric cabinets and cards. Please leave a comment. So see you all in my next video. Bye.